Okay, this is a demonstration of a way to get more accurate Geiger counter readings. And I'm going to use this flashlight as a means to show the pickup location and a couple things and a couple problems that you could have with your pickup location. If if you point the Geiger counter pickup like at a 45 degree angle, I would think that you're 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 not doing yourself uh, justice in getting the most accurate reading. If the pickup could be placed within a half inch of the water surface, that might be a more accurate way to uh, position the pickup. So there's going to have to be some type of attachment. This is basically a dinner plate. Um, the quick and dirty, you know, something to collect some water. Now I would highly, I would not recommend using a tuna can because let's say you got your pickup, you know, sitting here. Uh, what if a particulate were to hit like over in this area, you know, by the time you get a reading, you're going to have a delay of about an hour to two hours, okay? But you have a larger surface like this dinner plate, you're going to get a more uh, responsive reading. Um, it just makes common sense. So uh, another alternative would be, this is basically just an oven cover. And uh, I'd recommend filling these things with water till they're overflowing so that if anything drops into the water, let's say my pickup is over here, can I see that? Using my flashlight as an example, let's say I have it sitting like this and it's full of water and you just let it overflow over the sides. I'm going to get a very accurate, very quick, fast response indication. Okay, so let's say a particular drops as far as this, you know, distance over here. It's going to be in the water. It's going to rain. It's going to mix around because it's raining. Droplets are coming down, causing turbulence in this pan. And if my pickup is located here, um, it's going to be able to pick that up. Yeah, you know, just as I'm thinking about this, it might even be better to position it in the direct center. That way you've got the distance around. So something to consider. Um, yeah, you could you could position it like this. You could position it like this. But uh, some do's and don'ts. Uh, I would think that if you position it up in this, like up in here, like it's like six inches away, you know, it's the, the data is going to be useless. Um, and then some people are setting these up and trying to get atmospheric uh, humidity readings. I think that's total ignorance, and I totally, I just don't agree with that at all. And these dinner plates, I think, would be best. It's going to be nice and heavy, so it won't blow around. This thing, the wind could blow this around, and it's just, a, all it is is an oven cover. You can buy these at Walmart. A nice, heavy dinner plate, because it's not going to move around that much. I think it's a really good option. I would avoid using something like this, tuna can, because you're just not picking up a wide enough area. So that's all I got for this. And again, this is basically uh, my recommendation on getting more accurate and more responsive RAD readings, uh, specifically with rainfall. Thank you.